already got the engine turned by hand to get this cylinder up to top dead center compression stroke. Now listen very carefully. Hello and welcome back to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing some work on my Crown Victoria. I'm not in a very good mood. Um, I'm not really enthusiastic about the idea that I have to pull the motor out of the car, but join along. We're going to do a quick little hyper fast through all the boring stuff. Uh, a little bit of jumping around here and there, but you'll get the gist. Um, we're pulling the motor out and if you watch all the rest of the series you'll find out how we got here, why we got here, what the nature of this rabbit hole was, and hopefully in the end an outcome as to uh, what I missed and you'll get to hear this car run again. This one just broke off like the other one. Uh, a lot easier to just drill them out and put the studs in. It's not fun. too bad except that it broke off on the other side but we got it down there's the nut that came off and there's the stud that broke off but it probably wouldn't be able to get that one out anyways I got lucky
Oh yeah, loud noises. This needs to be cleaned. Take note of the uh, wear marks on the timing chain tensioner. It's got almost an eighth of an inch of travel in it. And then this one over here, it's a little bit less. And this chain right here doesn't look as stretched. So that chain definitely stretched. So we've got a little bit to clean up in here and then we're gonna be removing that head. Get the rest of this cam journal. Loose. Wow. So we got master cylinder in the way. Uh, come on. bolt down here in the bottom I can't get this wrench on. Come on bolt. One. And yes, all of these cables and wires and junk in the way is aggravating the living daylights out of me, but there's nothing I can do. Shy of unhooking everything. I got some valves back here pushing down. I can feel because the cam's lifting up. Oh, that might not have been good. That probably hurt something. pushing up on the, the cam. That keeper is off. And the cam is pushed up really hard. Okay, now... Gonna get the tension released from this. Let's get in here, get this chain tensioner taken out. Now these cannot be pushed back because they ratchet. So not quite sure yet what we're gonna do here, but Got the engine top dead center on one. Used a uh, extension to make sure. 
I don't think the timing on this engine's right. These marks don't look like they're where they should be. Um, you guys can chime in on that if you'd like. Okay, that's loose. See if we can get that cam bolt loose. That's an 18 millimeter. I'm going to do this with the impact so as to hopefully not rotate the engine anywhere. Okay, that was easy. timing all of this and putting it all back together correctly. Uh, let's see, let's get a new towel. Let's get the cam out of here. I hope I didn't gouge. Okay, cool. The cam journals. Pretty good. You know, scratch on that one. No, nope, that was just dirt. Okay. So make sure we don't get any nicks or gouges or scratches on anything. Spacer just fell off the front of the cam. Pretty clean. Be careful I don't get cut on any of these edges. Some of these are sharp. This one has witness marks on it. Nothing on that side, witness mark on this side. So I'm going to say that's against the gear. So this is going to go on that way. I'm going to put the gear back on here for the time being. show you how badly worn this is. Look at the uh, reflection of the teeth. How the chain is unevenly worn all of the teeth. So yeah this thing is probably starting to get a little bit on the noisy side. So we're going to be replacing these gears, the chain, the guides. Guys, oh yuck. Okay. We got a little bit of chewing and uneven. So yeah, this is 
is going to be fun. And that guide's not broken, that's good. I'm going to take these out, this bracket, so that we can get the head unbolted. And then I'm going to have to get something to keep all of these followers in their respective order. We don't want to change the order of anything. So I'm probably going to end up actually getting some tape and wrapping the tape. Boy, those journals look super nice. Okay, so these are 8 millimeter. Let's get those out. so we don't lose them or forget where they go. Now we're going to start extracting all of the roller rockers. I've got eight little pieces of paper with numbers on them. Get some cheap tape. What I'm going to do is put tape down about three, four inches and cross one number. Pull the first roller rocker out. Wrap the tape around it, make sure it touches itself on the other side so it doesn't go anywhere. There's one. There's two. could become a very big problem. If I can't fit that through, it's gonna be a big problem. I gotta get this unattached from underneath. Here goes nothing. Start loosening these up. Ready to spin them all out. Sorry about that. Okay. A little bit of rust down on the bottom. 
down there. Fun. Note to self, the one underneath the self. Black, black, all the rest of them are brown. Now we got one black one, another black one. Hmm. That's strange to see them mismatched like that, but. Back in a couple of weeks probably to pick up the head. Six tried to blow away. <laughs> <laughs> 